Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. It's Coupons with Abby. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a terrific day and had a terrific Halloween. We're at CVS to do some deals for this week, so if you're interested, stay tuned. <music> Sun just got a little more brutal, but we've made it to CVS for this week. Really excited for the new deals. It is basically a new month. November starts tomorrow. Can you believe that? So we got brand new coupons, brand new sales. Of course, the sales are always popping at the beginning of the month. So, you know, we got to pop off in here with those popping sales. I am pretty excited. We're only working with one card today. I'm going to admit I blew all my extra bucks on my side card last week, but here's the thing. We needed diapers. I am finally seeing a diaper shortage in my area. I heard about it and I was trying to stock up, but bam, it hit. And there wasn't really any diaper deals last week that we could use because my son is sensitive. So I blew extra bucks to buy a big pack of diapers for him, which I'm okay with because it's nothing out of my pocket. It's money I've earned and it is there for these purposes and obviously to roll into more deals, but no extra bucks on that card today. The CRTs weren't even really that good, so we're not working with that altogether. But that is one way I use my extra bucks. If there is something that we need and there's not really a deal on it, I will use my store rewards to pay for those items. So hence me blowing it on a $25 pack of diapers, but Diaper shortage is apparently real these days, so definitely now is the time to stock up. Hoping to grab some diaper deals this week, but I've told y'all before, my son doesn't use Pampers. He can only use Loves and Huggies, so those are a little harder to grab a deal on consistently. So, Anywho, enough of that. We're focusing on the deals for this week. Like I said, terrific. I will have that printable list down in the description box if you guys are interested in following along with these deals. And I think we're gonna go ahead and get in here and see what kind of magic can happen. But first, if you are new and just found my channel, welcome. I am super excited you're here to coupon with us today at CVS. Be sure to consider subscribing if you would like and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload, as well as give the video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and CVS couponing. It would truly mean a lot to me and help my channel grow a little more. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here and see what deals we can grab. First deal is on the Revlon Cosmetics. This week they're spend 12, get a $4 extra buck, and it is a limit of six, so you can do this up to six times per card. I'm gonna start by grabbing a Kiss Balm at $5.79. I'm gonna use a $3 expired coupon from previous inserts. I'm gonna go ahead and also grab a Photo Ready Concealer at $10.49 using an expired $3 coupon. And lastly, I'm gonna grab one of these shadow palettes at $9.29 and using another $3 expired coupon for that. So all three products total me $25.48. We're gonna use a $3 Revlon Instant Coupon that everybody should have in their app or print it at the red box for them this week. A five off 25 Revlon CRT I sent to my card and all of those $3 expired coupons that I did mention, my store does honor expired coupons up to 14 days. So we would be left to pay $8.48 for all three products. We're gonna get back an $8 extra buck for doing the deal twice. And then we will submit to Ibotta for $3 back on the concealer, $3 back on the shadow palette, and $2 back on the Kiss Balm, making everything here free and a $7.52 money maker, which I think is insane, especially since Beauty Club is no longer around. Having this money maker without Beauty Club will help pay for a lot of good stuff today. I was super excited to see the Paparazzi nail care deal this week. Is a limit of two, so like I said, you can do this deal twice per card. So Paparazzi nail is buy to get a $5 extra buck this week, and they are normally priced two for five. So this is an easy newbie friendly deal where you can pay $5, get that $5 right back, it'll be completely free. For me, I'm gonna grab four at $10. So they're two for five, four would total me $10. I have a three off seven paparazzi nail CRT, which would drop my price to pay down to $7. I'm gonna get back a $10 extra buck for doing this deal twice, making it completely free for all four nail polishes and a $3 money maker. It's been a while since I've done a userin deal, but this week I'm gonna go ahead and do it. 
select userin is spend 20 get a $10 extra buck so I'm going to grab one of these original healing lotions at $9.79 and then this roughness relief at $12.79 both products total me $22.58 I'm going to use this $2 printable coupon found on coupons.com a $2 userin digital coupon and then a 2 off 12 userin CRT leaving me to pay $16.58 I'll get back a $10 extra buck and I have a reward going on on coupons.com, the app, where it is tracking my spend 30, get a $6 reward on Userin. And I only need about 21 more dollars to get that $6 reward. So we are definitely over that to get that today, which would make my final cost for both products after the extra buck and $6, 58 cents or 29 cents each. The Halls Cough Drops are on sale for two for $4.25 this week. When you buy two, you'll get a $1 extra buck. I have this one off two coupon from the 1010 Smart Source, but we did just get new higher value coupons in the 1031 Smart Source. If you have those, definitely go ahead and use it. I believe it's $1.25 off two. And then I have a 75 cent off haul CRT I sent to my card, leaving me to pay $2.50 of the register. I'll get back a $1 extra buck and submit the checkout 51 for a dollar back on each pack, making my final cost for both completely free and a 50 cent money maker. So the Hallmark cards are buy three, get a $3 extra buck. The verbiage on the deal says with cards $2 or higher in value. So I was under the assumption I had to buy a card that was $2 or more to get the extra buck. But I have heard through the grapevine that 99 cent cards are printing the $3 extra book. So that's something to consider to have this be a cheaper or money maker deal for you. This deal still worked out really fantastic for me. I went ahead and grabbed four of the two for four Hallmark cards that are like the Thanksgiving themed. So four of them total me $8. I'm only showing three, but I swear I grabbed four. Um, I have a two off three Hallmark CRT and a three off four Hallmark CRT. So they are showing different product quantities I have to buy. I just have to meet the highest quantity, which is four Hallmark cards to get both CRTs to apply. So with those CRTs coming off, I pay $3 at the register, get back a $3 extra buck, making all four cards completely free. I'm gonna go ahead and do the spend 20, get a $5 extra buck household deal, starting with grabbing one of these Tide Pods at $4.94 and using a $2 printable coupon from pggoodeveryday.com. And then I'm gonna grab three Pantene stylers. I didn't feel like grabbing the shampoos this week. The stylers are on sale three for 15, and I do have a four off three coupon from the November P&G as well as a two off 12 Pantene CRT. I've never tried these stylers, so they look really interesting to me. And of course, is something different than shampoo and conditioner. So all four products total me at $19.94, which is in the 98% to get that $5 extra buck. I have those coupons that I went over as well as that two off 12 Pantene CRT, leaving me to pay $11.94, get back a $5 extra buck, making the final cost $6.94, or $1.73 each. We are accumulating so many freebies this week, the Speed Stick being another one. They are on sale two for $6, buy two, get a $2 extra buck. I have two two off two Speed Stick CRTs. Now, if you can go on the Speed Stick website and print 50 cent printable coupons, that would make the deal a money maker. I was out of redemption for those. So I'd pay $2, get back a $2 extra buck, making these free as well. Fortunately, I could not do this deal today because of the limit of stock in my store on the Oral-B toothbrushes. They are part of a promotion where you buy two, get a $5 extra buck limit of two. So I will leave that scenario in the printable list down in the description box if your store has a stock and you would like to do this deal. Colgate is free again this week, y'all. So the Colgate Optic Whites up here are two for $7.98. We have another $7.98 off to digital you want to send to your card, making these bad boys completely free. Grab some whole blends. This week they're on sale two for seven. Buy to get a $3 extra buck. I do have two of these $2 coupons from previous inserts that are expired. So I'm going to go ahead and use those to pay $3. Get back a $3 extra buck, making these free as well. 
This is definitely one of my lighter hauls in quite a while, but I didn't really feel like doing too much today. I wanted to stay kind of simple and small. So this is everything we are grabbing at CVS for now. We're going to go into the car and discuss the final cost and all of the receipts. We are back in the car from CVS and everything went flawless. I love a transaction like that. And I'm noticing the smaller transactions go so seamless. It's just perfect. I was a little nervous because there was a different cashier today that I've never seen before. I think she's new. She's super kind and friendly and so patient with me um, and everything worked well. She wasn't overwhelmed. I tried not to use too many coupons. That's why I've been sending things to my card lately. I mentioned that last week. I'm trying the send a card option and I'm not really using the red box. I come in the middle of the week to print my CRTs, but that's about it. Everything else I send to my card. I didn't even go to the red box today um, and everything came off. I'm just super happy with it. So we're gonna go over the receipts and the final cost. Okay, excuse the weird background, but I'm realizing the next morning that I forgot to film the receipt portion. So here is the first transaction I did with the speed stick, the whole blends, the hauls, the Colgate, all of the Hallmark cards and the paparazzi nail, um, another Hallmark card and the Revlon product. So as far as coupons used, we used two $2 coupons for the whole blends and the $3 coupons for the Revlon. They were expired, but like I've mentioned before, my store takes them up to 14 days. So they went through perfectly fine, no issues. We also had a $1 coupon. I believe that one was for, for the hauls. But like I mentioned in the video, if you do have the recent inserts from Sunday for $1.25 off two, it'd be a better deal. I was working with what I had on hand and the Colgate Digital came off, my 5 off 25 Revlon, the 3 off 7 Paparazzi, 3 off 4 Hallmark, 3 off Revlon, 2 off 3 Hallmark, and my 2 off 2 Speed Sticks, and my 75 cent off hauls. So I used $25.27 in extra bucks. I went ahead and sent my 2% back, uh, the little baby extra bucks, to my card. So leaving my subtotal at $1.79. Now as far as rewards back, we got back $3 for the whole blends, $1 for the hauls, $2 for the Speed Stick, $8 for the Revlon. I probably will do that deal again since I already have $10 needed to earn my next reward. So I may hit that deal again before the week ends. We also have the $5. It was actually $10 I earned for paparazzi and then $3 for the home. Second transaction I did was my Spend 20 deal and the Eucerin. So we have the Pantene's, the Tide, and the Eucerin products. My $4 Pantene coupon. My $2 coupon for the Eucerin and then the $2 coupon for the Tide. My $2 Eucerin digital did come off as well as my 2 off 12 Pantene and 2 off 12 Eucerin. So all of the extra bucks I earned in my first transaction, I went ahead and rolled into this one, leaving my subtotal at $1.52. And we did go ahead and get back that $5 extra buck for the spend 20 and then the $10 for the use. All right, so with both transactions combined, since we did it on one card today, I just combined both transactions between extra bucks and subtotals. We spent $55.58 out of pocket. In rewards back today, we got back $42 in extra bucks from today's deals. I went ahead and submitted over to the coupons.com app to get my $6 back for spending 30 on the Eucerin. Now that has been tracking over time. I only needed about 21 more dollars to hit that $6 reward. So I should definitely hit that today. I think I was at $22. So should get $6 back from coupons.com. I got back $8.10 from Ibotta for all the Revlon cosmetics and $0.10 cents for uploading any receipt from Checkout 51. I hurried and submitted my receipt for those Halls cough drops because those Checkout 51 offers, I know that's going to be a hot deal this week. Everybody's going to be doing it, so with Checkout 51, you want to submit those fast. They have a limit of how many rebates can get claimed and so I claimed two and I went ahead and submitted real fast. I was trying to be in and out today so I could go ahead and get that two dollars in case it disappeared which by the time I upload this it may have disappeared. Of course I will update you guys somewhere here in the video. I'll check back on it frequently. I went ahead and submitted my two dollars there. So 
Originally, everything just sale price would have cost us $111 today and 32 cents roughly. Our final cost for everything was completely free and a $2.52 money maker. That is insane. For, I haven't done a good Eucerin deal in a while, so to get that for free was phenomenal. Uh, I've never tried the Pantene Stylers. I'm just very happy with it overall. I really think this was a phenomenal haul. Like I mentioned, the printable list will be down in the description box as well as the rebate apps I did use today. I bought a Checkout 51 and the Coupons.com app will be linked below. Just remember using the Coupons.com app that it is a coupon reimbursement service. So if you do not have a paper coupon like I use today on hand, you can go to the Coupons.com app and claim that money back for not having that coupon it is not a rebate app occasionally they do these rebates though where if you spend a certain threshold on participating products they'll give you additional cash back so just keep that in mind but that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what deals you're doing down in the comments and i'll talk to you guys very very soon bye